Ever wondered why sharks are considered the most fearsome creatures in the ocean? Their razor-sharp teeth? Their size, perhaps? Or is it the chilling reputation they've garnered through pop culture? Today, we're going to focus on one specific type of shark, the Great White, the King of the Ocean. The Great White Shark, an animal that has inspired both terror and awe in equal measure. It's a creature that has earned a legendary status, often being the villain in many a Hollywood blockbuster. Yet, there's so much more to this incredible creature than meets the eye. Beyond the teeth and the tails, the Great White Shark is a complex and fascinating creature. It's an apex predator, a key player in the delicate balance of our ocean ecosystems. Its existence is as captivating as it is crucial. Join us as we dive into the world of this majestic misunderstood creature. The journey of a Great White starts in an unusual way. Imagine this. In the darkest corners of the ocean, a miracle of life unfolds. A Great White Shark is born. But unlike other creatures, a baby Great White, also known as a pup, is not welcomed into the world with a gentle nudge or a mother's warm embrace. You see, from the moment they emerge, they are fully formed, independent and ready to face the vast and unpredictable ocean. The birth of a Great White Shark is a fascinating spectacle. The mother shark lays her eggs internally, where they are fertilized and hatch. The pups continue to grow within their mother until they are ready to be born. But here's the twist. These shark pups aren't born as helpless infants. No, they come into the world as miniature versions of their parents, equipped with a full set of teeth and a natural instinct to hunt. However, being born ready doesn't mean life's easy. From the moment they are born, these little predators face an onslaught of challenges. You see, mother great whites don't stick around to offer protection or guidance. So these pups are left to their own devices, navigating the vast ocean, learning to hunt, and avoiding dangers. And let's not forget, the ocean is a place where even the fiercest creatures can fall prey. So these young sharks must quickly learn to distinguish between predator and prey. It's a harsh world and many don't make it. But those who do, grow into the formidable predators we know and respect. This early independence, the struggle for survival, it all plays a crucial role in shaping the great white into the apex predator it is destined to be. Every challenge they overcome, every danger they evade, is a step toward becoming one of the ocean's most feared and respected creatures. Surviving infancy is the first test that nature throws at a great white, and it's a test that shapes them, molds them, and prepares them for the incredible journey that lies ahead. Once they pass infancy, a new chapter begins for a great white. The great white shark, a creature of formidable strength and size, undergoes a fascinating growth journey. From the moment they are born, these creatures are wired for survival. As they grow, their bodies streamline, their senses sharpen, and their instinctual behaviors take shape. Adolescent great whites feast primarily on smaller prey like fish and rays. But as they grow and their jaws strengthen, their diet shifts towards larger sea creatures. This is a time of learning, of honing their hunting skills. They learn to ambush, to strike with speed and precision, and to conserve energy, all vital skills for a top predator. Now let's talk about the Great White's remarkable migration patterns. Have you ever wondered why these sharks travel thousands of miles across vast oceans? It's not just for a change of scenery. These migrations are often driven by the need for food and reproduction. As the seasons change, so does the abundance and location of their prey. Following their food source, Great Whites may journey from the coasts of California all the way to the warm waters around Hawaii. Moreover, these migrations play a crucial role in their reproduction. Male and female Great Whites often cross paths in these migration hotspots, ensuring the continuation of their species. These patterns also allow the young to be born in areas with ample food and fewer predators, giving them a better chance at survival. But these migrations aren't just important for the sharks themselves. They also play a key role in maintaining the balance of marine ecosystems. By preying on the sick and the weak, great whites help to keep other populations healthy and in check. As they grow, their position in the food chain changes, and so does their role in the ocean. From learners to leaders, the journey of a great white is a testament to nature's intricate design and the relentless will of one of its most awe-inspiring creatures. With size and experience, a great white shark becomes an apex predator. It's a title that speaks volumes about the power and prowess of these magnificent creatures. But what exactly does it mean to be an apex predator? In the vast and complex ocean ecosystem, the great white holds the top spot in the food chain. This means they have no natural predators, save for the occasional orca. But their role goes beyond merely being the ocean's top hunters. 
As apex predators, great whites play a crucial role in maintaining the balance of the marine ecosystem. They help control the populations of their prey, which include seals, sea lions, and smaller fish. This control has a domino effect, preventing overgrazing of sea vegetation that smaller marine life depends on. But the importance of great whites isn't just ecological. They're also a vital link in the chain of marine biodiversity. By preying on the sick and weak, they help to strengthen the gene pool of their prey species, ensuring healthier, more robust populations. Now let's address some misconceptions. Despite their fearsome reputation and contrary to what Hollywood might have you believe, great whites are not mindless man-eaters. In fact, humans are not on their menu at all. Most shark attacks on humans are cases of mistaken identity, where the shark confuses a surfer or swimmer for a seal. Additionally, great whites are not the indiscriminate killers they're often portrayed to be. They're actually quite selective, choosing their prey based on size, health, and abundance. This selectivity is another reason why their role as apex predators is so important for the health of the ocean ecosystem. In the grand scheme of things, the great white shark is much more than a fearsome predator. It's a vital cog in the wheel of life beneath the waves, a guardian of balance, and a testament to the intricate web of life that thrives in our oceans. Despite their fearsome reputation, great whites play a vital role in their habitats. So the next time you think about these magnificent creatures, remember, they are not just predators, but protectors of their underwater world. Ironically, the greatest threat to a great white isn't in the ocean. You see, despite their status as apex predators, these majestic creatures face significant threats, primarily due to human activities. Overfishing is a major concern. Tens of thousands of sharks are caught each year, both intentionally and as bycatch. The demand for shark fin soup, a luxury dish in some cultures, has led to the brutal practice of finning, where sharks are caught, their fins are sliced off, and their still living bodies are tossed back into the sea. This is not just inhumane, but it also destabilizes marine ecosystems, as sharks play a pivotal role in maintaining the balance of life beneath the waves. Pollution is another significant threat. Oceans are the dumping grounds of the world, and the toxic waste we discard ends up in the bodies of these marine creatures. Plastic, for instance, is an enormous issue. Sharks, like other marine animals, often mistake plastic for food, leading to injury, illness, and death. Climate change, too, poses a serious threat. Rising ocean temperatures and acidification affect the availability and distribution of prey, altering the natural behavior and migration patterns of great whites. Yet, all is not lost. Conservation efforts are underway worldwide to safeguard these magnificent creatures. Marine protected areas are being established and stricter fishing regulations are being implemented. Education and awareness initiatives are also crucial. By understanding the pivotal role of sharks in our ecosystems, we can shift the narrative from fear to respect. Moreover, technological advancements are aiding in shark research and conservation. Satellite tagging and tracking, for instance, are providing valuable insights into the behavior and migration patterns of great whites, aiding in their protection. These efforts are vital, not just for the survival of the great white, but for the health of our oceans and, by extension, our planet. Because remember, every creature has a role to play in the intricate web of life, and each loss sends ripples through our ecosystems. The survival of the great white shark is in our hands. For the sake of our oceans, our planet, and future generations, let's not let them slip through our fingers. Today we've journeyed through the life of a great white shark. We've witnessed the birth of a predator, their growth deep in the ocean, and their rise as the undisputed apex predator. We marveled at the Great White's unique attributes, from its sensory capabilities to its unparalleled hunting prowess. We also confronted the harsh reality of the threats they face. From finning to climate change, these challenges pose a significant risk to their existence. However, the story doesn't have to end here. With understanding comes the power to effect change. By appreciating their role in the marine ecosystem, we can take steps to conserve these majestic creatures. We are not merely spectators, but active participants in this world. By respecting the ocean and its inhabitants, we can contribute to the survival of the great white. The ocean's balance depends on its apex predator, the great white shark. It's up to us to ensure their survival for future generations.